Now let's look at some important parts of the camera's main menu. To access this menu, press the function button while in the movie, dual shot or photo mode and use the joystick to highlight the last option in the list. Pushing the joystick inwards will select the menu option. Use the joystick to highlight the system setup menu. It should be the fifth option on the list of icons on the left hand side of the screen. Move the joystick to the right to highlight options in this menu. Take note of the AV phone setting. This setting tells the camera what to output to the AV out port that we connected the headphones to. If the setting is on headphones, you will hear whatever audio the camera is recording while your headphones are connected. If the setting is on AV, the camera outputs both an audio and a visual signal, which will sound like a loud buzzing in your headphones. So, if you're recording a video and using your headphones to monitor sound, make sure the setting is on headphones. It's a good idea to erase the camera's memory before you start to record anything, to reduce the chance of you running out of space. To do this, highlight the Memory Operations menu. This is the second option on the list of icons on the left hand side of the screen. Push your joystick to the right to highlight these options. Selecting Initialize will bring up another list of options. Choosing Initialize again from this list will quickly erase all data files on the memory card. You can close the menu by selecting the last option in the icon list on the left hand side of the screen or by pressing the function key again. When shooting video, you will need to be able to adjust the exposure of the camera. Exposure affects how much light is reaching the camera's sensor, so changing this setting will brighten or darken your subject. From the movie mode, push the joystick upwards to expand the on-screen options. The first option from the bottom is the exposure setting. Push the joystick in to select. Make sure you select your option quickly as the list will disappear within a few seconds if no selection is made. Once you've selected the exposure option, you'll see a scale appear in the top left-hand side of the screen. This shows your level of exposure. Pushing the joystick left or right will decrease or increase the exposure and brighten or darken your subject. The camera also has an onboard light, which can be used for filming in dark places. This can also be accessed from the on-screen menu. To begin recording, press the red record button located on the rear of the camera. A red record symbol will appear in the top right-hand side of the LCD screen. You will also be able to see the audio level meter in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. You should see dotted marks moving on this meter if you're recording video with sound. If your level meter is not moving and you're using an external microphone, check your microphone is connected properly, switched on and has a working battery of the correct type. Now let's look at the tripod. You can increase the height of the tripod by using the clips located on each of the legs. The tripod has an arm or handle that you can use to tilt or pan a camera. Now let's connect the camera to the tripod. You'll need the metal plate included in your kit. If you can't find your plate, check whether it's already connected to the bottom of your camera. To attach the plate to the camera, line up the screw and bolt on the underside of the plate with the matching holes on the underside of the camera. Use the ring on top to screw the plate into place. A correctly attached plate will have the lens arrow pointing towards the lens of the camera. Next, make sure your tripod is standing with its arm toward you. The large black lever should be set to the right. 
Line up your camera so the lens is facing away from you and fit the plate into the top of the tripod, nose first. Make sure you gently push the back of the camera downwards into place. You should hear a click as the black lever shifts to the left. Moving the black lever back to the right will release the camera from the tripod. To ensure you don't accidentally release the camera, move the gold lever located on the top right of the black lever toward you. Now you won't be able to move the black lever and remove the camera from the tripod. This camera records to a memory card, so you can simply drag and drop the files you need from the camera to another folder, just like a USB or external hard drive. To connect the camera to a computer, use the USB cable included in your kit. Attach the smaller end to the USB port located above the microphone and AV out ports we used earlier. Attach the other end to your computer, like you would a USB drive. This camera must also be plugged into a power socket when transferring files. Use the camera charger included in your kit and attach the small end to the power port located under the small black cover on the opposite side of the camera, right at the back. Connect the charger's plug into a power point. Ensure both the power point and camera are switched on. The camera will now work just like a USB drive. After you've finished using the camera, make sure you neatly pack up the kit and return it to the SJC's camera shop by its due date and time. For more information on digital video shooting or editing, please attend a MAPS Owl session. Yeah.